like I said, you know, last night, you know, it was emotional. But, uh, shit, you wake up this morning, you got practice, you got to get ready to go. You got, got Atlanta on Thursday, got a good football team coming in here, and we got to get ready to go win. Do you feel like you're ready to contribute in, in the real games if they ask you to? Definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, just go out there, just playing football. You know, I've been doing this my whole, pretty much my whole life. Um, just go play football, have fun. So when did you know? that you made the roster? Uh, they told us yesterday in team meeting. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, questions, obviously, about the quarterback. Do you guys feel confident about who's out there? Do you have a sense on who might be playing? Uh, man, whoever's out there, uh, whether it's Fozzi or it's Carson, I've um, got full confidence in both those guys um, to go out there and get the job done. Nick has proven it, you know, won a Super Bowl MVP last year. Carson was having an amazing year last year. Um, whichever one of those guys it is, we got to go out there and execute, regardless of who's in there. So when you found out in the team meeting that you'd made the squad, did, did kind of like everything else that Doug said after that, did it kind of like go over your head because it was, was it sinking in for, for you at that point that you made the squad? I mean, I didn't really think about it, think about it till after till I got home when we got done with meetings. I mean, Doug told us in team meeting and then we went on, we went on and started the game plan. So, you know, you got to lock in on that. Um, you know, but afterwards, got to call my family, stuff like that. Start to hit on a little bit. Um, but like I said, you know, we got a game on Thursday. You got to get ready to play. Were you able to fire off any kind of, like, messages? Because I'm sure your family's waiting around for the news themselves. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I call, you know, call, call my close family and everything last night. Um, I mean, but I mean, like, shortly after you found out, because usually, you know, 4 o'clock's are here, so it's kind of like. So, so the Internet got to it, got, got it to them before I did. I mean, I was, I was still in meetings. Uh, and I got out on my phone, you know, going crazy and stuff like that. Um, so they found out before I got to tell them, but, uh, you know, I got to call them afterwards, and it was a good moment for everybody. But how many messages or so were on your phone when you, when you checked it? I don't know, man. A lot. I still ain't went through all of them. How important is it that you continue doing the things that got you here and, you know, this isn't the end, but kind of just the beginning? No, definitely. This is, like I said, you know, it's not the, it's not the, the end. You know, we're just getting started. Uh, we got to... Very good appointment coming in, coming in here on Thursday, and we got to get ready to go. Um, and whatever the coach is asking me to do, I got to go out there and execute my role. Um, and it's, it's every day. In this league, you got to fight to stay. You got to fight to get in. Got to fight to stay in every day. Um, and that's the mentality I take and I approach towards you know every week. You did a lot of return work. I mean, do you expect that you might get some of that that first week? Uh, we don't know. Uh, we'll see. You know how what the coaches want to do. Whatever they ask me to do, I'll be ready for it. Thanks. That is a to start. Are you changing that number? 16. 16, yeah. 16. Uh, hey, I, I wish I could keep two, though. I was two all through high school, all through college. Uh, but, you know, the, the league rules got to switch it. But uh, I'm 16 now. Who was the first call to last night? Uh, my, uh, called my girlfriend first and then my father and my mother. And when you talked to your mom and your dad, how much were you talking about your brother and, you know, the promise that you had made to him? Yeah, it was a big conversation with my dad about that. Um, uh, you know, like I said, it was a sentimental moment for us, for the family and everything. Um, you know, they're all happy, proud, things like that. And, you know, I am too. Uh, and it was, it was a good moment. No celebration at all, or is it because the mindset is you're back here the next day getting, getting I mean, ready for yeah. the Falcons? I mean, it was, I, Boy, I, like I, I found out last night, and we said we had work this morning, so uh, no big celebration, nothing like that. Um, yeah, got to get to work. Got a game on Thursday. When you sign here, you know, camp had already begun for the team, and there's a lot of talented players at the wide receiver position. What was that mindset like for you coming into camp, knowing that, quite honestly, the odds are probably stacked against you from, from the start there? Uh, my first mindset, you know, was to get in and learn the playbook as fast as I can. The faster you know the playbook, know the plays, and the coaches can put you out there and get reps, and then you can show how you can play, you know, execution and things like that. Um, but, like, we had a deep, deep, deep receiver room. Maybe. I played in a lot of good receiver rooms, but this might have been one of the deepest that I was in. Um, and we got a lot, of good, a lot of guys in that room, had a lot of good guys in that room. Uh, uh, but I just kind of tried to focus on myself, you know, getting my, my assignments right, executing, catching the ball when it came my way, blocking correctly and everything like that. Um, and it paid off, you know, one play at a time mindset. Do you think that the experiences you've had with the other teams allowed you to have that right mindset coming into this camp to know that you have to focus on yourself and not worry about the numbers and how deep the, the position group is? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I've been around the block a couple of times, um, you know, and I've seen seen the right way to go around, go about situations like this coming in, you know, bottom of the depth chart, yada, yada, yada. Um, 
Well, I think whether you're at the bottom of the depth chart or at the top of the depth chart, um, you always got to focus on yourself um, and get your job done um, so we can succeed as a team collectively.